Look at all these presents that Sarah and Jared got us. And Petey. Oh, and Petey, their little dog. Hey, Veronica. What? What do we have? What is this? We got a present box. You got a present from Aunt Sarah and Uncle Jared? Mm -hmm. And your presents are wrapped in here? And so we're gonna open them up and put them under our tree. <laughs> Trying to vlog and cut this open is kind of hard. You want me to do it? No, I don't want you to touch this knife. Go! Yep. Me, Gabe, Me, go, go, go. Wow! It is packed to the top. Yeah? Okay, say Sarah, say hola. Wow, look it. So what does it say? What's what's that one? That's the yours. That's mine? Ooh. Okay, put it under the tree for me. Look at that pretty wrapping paper. Put it under the tree. Put it under the tree. No, Naomi, we're not opening it right now. Naomi, we're not opening it right now, okay? Put it under the tree. I know. It's going to be fun to open, huh? Uh-oh. I don't know if it's a good idea. I just wanted you guys to have some presents under the tree before Christmas. I know. I know. Look right now. We don't have any of ours either. Julio! <gasps> Whoa! Even for Julio. I got a, oh, we got a lot of little puppies. Me, Petey! Okay. No, wait, don't open it! Don't open it! Me, Petey! Me, Petey! You from Petey? Veronica says Petey could wrap, ripe, could, could wrap wrapping paper. <laughs> I know. Me! <gasps> oh, holy smokes. Look at that giant. What is that? What is that? Whoa! Okay, all this needs to go under the tree. There's even more! There's even more! This is cute wrapping paper, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. It's from Costco. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you, Sarah. Yeah. Say bye, thank you, Aunt Sarah. Bye. Love you. Bye. Love you. Okay, bye. Okay, wow. You wanna push the button? Okay, push the button. All these gifts need to go under the tree. Holy moly. Moo, one for me? And this is only That one says Becca. Love Sarah. Thank you, Sarah and Jared, for this giant box of presents. Now they even have a box to play with too. Look at, look how many presents are by the. I think I know what this tree. is. The book that we made last time. Oh, you think so? Mm -hmm. We'll see. Because okay. Can you say thank you to Uncle Jared and Aunt thank Sarah you. and Petey? I think it is. And Petey. <laughs> I think it is because it looks like it. It kind of does look like a bow. We'll see. ¿Qué tal familia? Es sábado. It's Saturday. And today is usually the day that we use to clean up. And that's what we've been doing most of the day, is cleaning up. And it's been pretty good. My office is nice and clean and organized, which means now all that stress of having a cluttered desk and floor is out of the way, and I can focus on getting the job done. And the house is looking great, which again, makes me feel stress-free. <laughs> I just like having a clean home. Our Christmas tree is awful. Here's our tree, by the way. I don't know if we've ever shown you the tree in its completed state. We have no star or angel to put up there, but one day we'll put something up there. What's funny is that this tree was actually gifted to us, I think, last year. And then a lot of the ornaments that we have on here, like this one right there, and then this one over here, a lot of those ornaments were also gifted to us. Um, which is fantastic. It feels like for the past two Christmases we've had some pretty rough Christmases where I don't have a job or I'm freelancing and so you know we make ends meet we make it happen which is nice and we have a good Christmas still. We usually have a, a sort of miracle happen. Uh, last year uh, one of Rebecca's co-workers brought us some steaks so they basically brought us a Christmas dinner and some gifts and a it was amazing and you know really helped us feel the Christmas spirit of giving. If I had my little way when it came to Christmas, I would give everyone everything 
on their wish list. And I did not want to rhyme, <laughs> but that happened there. <laughs> Look at this girl. Are you playing dress up? Yeah, she's a farmer. Riding her pony. Oh. <laughs> So once we're done cleaning the house, we're gonna go hang out with some vlogger friends of ours, the Ray family, and uh, we're gonna go eat at Costa Vida because Costa Vida is way better than Cafe Rio. So it'll be fun to go do that and hang out with them. This is our little game area. And no, this... no, this is our junk area. No, well, it's supposed to be the game area and it turns into this junk area. So it was like up to here in junk and now I'm just trying to uh, sneakily um, dispose of some things. But the little one is right, right there. So, we probably shouldn't vlog about it because she's watching it. <laughs> People have junk drawers, junk closets, and junk shed. shelves. <laughs> and a shed. Yeah, a junk shed or a garage. So a while ago, when this was trending, this was becoming the thing, I picked up this book hoping to read it so we can tidy up the whole house. But from what I learned about this book is that if you're going to do that, it's going to take you a lot of time like you'll have to remove everything out of everywhere and put it all out yeah junk room oh this is your junk area <laughs> so veronica has a junk area that's on top of her dresser drawer silly look right here this is awesome. This is a picture of Veronica's first Christmas. With Daddy. Yep. Daddy. There I am. When Veronica was born and she was a little baby, she had a little strawberry on her eye right there. <laughs> Put that one away. Look at her. She's opening her present. She has little chubsters. Veronica wanted to show you guys another picture of Veronica. Look how chubby she is. Look at her. And then our Christmas tree was like two feet or three feet. I don't know how tall that is. It was a really small Christmas tree. But look at all those awesome presents we had that Christmas. That was a good one. <laughs> Cuties. Our little Naomi seems to be getting sick. So she was a little fussy today. So I had her lay down here and watch some Alvin and the Chipmunks. But now she finally fell asleep. Just watching like a Halloween episode of Alvin and the Chipmunks. Oh, she finally fell asleep. Look at her. Nice and peaceful. While my brother over here what up, what up? munches on his Doritos and trail mix and conchas and plays some Call of Duty. Yes. This fool's living the life over here. Three kills, five deaths, one assist. Get with it, man. Get with it. Poor little Naomi sickies. She has a fever. What's going on? We had to cancel our hangout with the Ray family because Naomi's sick and, you know, it's not good to have a sick baby out there. So we canceled. We're all bummed. Bummed that we can't hang out and bummed that Naomi's sick. So we'll figure out what we can do for the rest of today. Hola familia, it's super late at night. Just got back from Walmart. I went and I got stocking stuffers the rest of the Christmas gifts that we have to send off by Monday and hopefully it gets to Arizona in time. And then some food for tomorrow. Um, I have a really cute idea that I'll vlog and Anthony can show later, because if we show it now, the people watching the vlog will know what the gifts are. Naomi has been on and off Tylenol and ibuprofen since she had her fever, and she's just whining and sad and it's so sad. So she's sleeping in her bed and she's has a little heat ball. Um, but we'll see you tomorrow. Adios, thanks for watching, bye. ¿Qué tal familia? Estamos en una cita, which means date in Spanish. Cita? It also means like appointments and stuff like that, so it has different meanings.